Hi, my name is Linda Daniel Rowland. Um, I am currently the acting manager for the Wangaba Open Art Group, um, and I'm a proud Nalama woman. Uh, it kind of started in 2018 when I did a return to country from Victoria to Roeburn um, and then fell in love and of course family is all here so decided to move back in 2019. A bit of a weirdo when it comes to my artwork, I love texture. The painting has been quite cathartic uh, as I'm part of the stolen generation. So getting to know my culture um, has been interesting to say the least um, and coming to terms with the fact that I actually was part of the Stolen Generation and being back on country made it more impactful, I think it, it, it made it real. I am an emerging artist so I'm still finding my footing, I have a lot to live up to. Um, family members are quite established and fantastic artists um, and I'm still finding my style and my groove. There is the one piece that I uh, submitted for uh, Cossack um, and it was my first time entering Cossack um, and it's a piece that um, I've actually incorporated jigsaw pieces um, and the background has the, uh, of course the Aboriginal colours of the flag um, and I've gone with a lot of um, browns and reds and oranges and white. Now white, um, of course, because the painting is uh, part of a sequence of paintings that I'm in the process of doing that, uh, are the retelling of my journey through the system and being taken. Um, and uh, the, for me, this piece was okay, it's, it's probably going to be not everybody's cup of tea and quite confronting because um, on the jigsaw pieces I do have wording uh, with such words as despair and hurt and loss. Um, I have question marks when it comes to me and the pathways that I've painted um, to represent the different pathways that my life has led back to where um, my idea that I've grown up with all my life of my family, which is myself and my three children. And then it's gone back to the central piece, which is, I've also got jigsaw pieces, and on it they have um, Nala Manura home. I listen to my elders talk about the changing colours of the seasons and what's the right time to pick this particular berry or what's the right time to get bush lolly, you know, and it's, and it's the they, they go on not only you know, seasons as we would normally class seasons, but the colours of their country. That's their indicator. But it has so much more than just being a beautiful, colourful country to look at. Um, the, 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 the cultural significance and knowledge behind all of that has just been blind, you know, mind blowing for me. Um, and that's what I'm learning from my elders. Um, and for them, that's what colours, and for myself, sorry, I should say, that's what colours of, of our country is, knowledge.